After more than 100 years in business, Hertz, one of the world's top three rental car companies, has gone bankrupt. As of Hertz Global Holdings, a vehicle rental company that recently filed for bankruptcy protection as COVID-19. The Florida-based company blames major debt and a drastic drop in business. Vehicles have been a part of human life ever since the first steam-powered automobile capable of transporting humans from one place to another was built by Nicholas Joseph Cugnot back in 1769. From that point on, vehicles technology was refined and developed to bring us today's modern car. Cars became widely used worldwide. And while the exact number is a little difficult to pinpoint, by 2016 there was an estimated 1.30 billion vehicles on roads across the globe. Can you imagine how difficult it would be to travel without using a car? They helped make traveling from point to point much more convenient. However, having a car was not always as common as it is today. There were fewer cars available on the market, and fewer still could afford to buy their own as they were pretty pricey back then. The solution? Car rentals. Well, that's probably what the founder of the Hertz Corporation thought when he first put up the company. For a while, the business was great. Hertz probably cemented itself as the most iconic car rental company in America. However, people were taken by surprise when the company filed for bankruptcy not too long ago. When you hear about the reason behind it, Hertz is right. What happened to Hertz Corporation? What led to the company's demise? What's happening to Hertz Corporation right now? And what will happen to it in the future? That's precisely what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So sit back and relax as we dive into the rise and fall of the Hertz Corporation. This is Business Explained. To learn more about all things money, get educated about how to do business, become business savvy, and enjoy more videos like these, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, and may you be granted with many, many sweet returns. Before we get down to the details, let's talk about how the Hertz Corporation came to be. Now, it wasn't always a Hertz Corporation. The company was initially known as a Rent-A-Car Incorporated. It was founded by Walter L. Jacobs, a native of Chicago back in 1918. The car rental company began with a mere 12 Model T Ford cars, but it soon expanded to 600 different vehicles over five years. These cars allowed the company to rake in an annual revenue of roughly $1 million. The brand's popularity attracted the attention of John D. Hertz, the owner of the yellow truck and coach manufacturing company. He purchased the company in 1923 and renamed it to Hertz Drive Yourself System. In 1926, General Motors took over the brand after they bought it from John Hertz, and they soon purchased the rest of Yellow Truck and Coach Manufacturing Company. The company opened its first rental car location in 1932 at Chicago's Midway Airport. It then expanded to Canada in 1938 and to Europe, particularly in France, in 1950. John Hertz then came into possession of the brand when he purchased it in 1953 through the Omnibus Corporation, his other company. He then renamed it to the Hertz Corporation, and its stock began trading on the New York Stock Exchange. After the Hertz Corporation purchased Metropolitan Distributors, the Hertz Corporation's numbers of vehicles rose to 15,500 trucks and 12,900 passenger cars. The company was a commercial success. Hertz Global Holdings, its parent company, ranked 335th on the 2018 Fortune 500 list by Forbes. By 2019, the company was able to amass revenues of roughly $9.8 billion, assets of $24.6 billion, and have 38,000 employees. Amazing, right? However, this did not stop the company from announcing that it may soon be bankrupt. We all know that the coronavirus pandemic has been hard on businesses and establishments in the United States and all over the world. The majority of those affected are small and medium businesses, but that doesn't mean that giant companies are exempt from the pandemic's adverse effects. The travel and tourism industry has probably been the hardest hit industry among all the industries, mostly since travel bans and rules for social distancing were implemented to stop the virus spread. As Hertz relies heavily on car rentals, this meant that the number of travelers renting out cars would be slim to none. 
Demand for travel and travel-related businesses particularly plummeted, and so did the need for the used vehicles Hertz would put into the market once they became retired. That's why on April 30th, 2020, the company announced that they had missed paying for the lease payments on its fleet. The company wrote that they needed the support of its lenders to avoid filing for bankruptcy. They also had a change in leadership. Paul Stone replaced Marinello as a company CEO. However, despite their plea, the Wall Street Journal reported on May 22, 2020 that Hertz had not been able to agree with its lenders. On the very same day, Hertz filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. However, it may seem that there may be a silver lining to it. Despite their filing for bankruptcy, the company announced on June 11 that it is seeking to raise a billion dollars in new equity. Its filing for bankruptcy had led to its stock plummeting to a low of 59 cents a share, but it rose nearly a thousand percent to $5.50 a share. In mid-October, the stock price rose even further by around 19% because of reports that it had secured a $1.65 billion lifeline, which is still subject to approval. This money would allow the company to bide some time and raise funds while negotiating with its lenders. Daniel Miller, the Motley Fool industrial specialist, had this to say in his article on Hertz's current condition. Hertz will have several options, but it will have to satisfy major lenders and have financed at roughly $19 billion in debt before it can offer common shareholders any value. The new financing will help the company operate while it restructures. Still, it simply puts more major lenders in front of common shareholders at the negotiation table, which makes an already small chance of shareholders receiving any value even less likely. This means that investors see a future for the company, but it is unsure how things will proceed after the effects of the pandemic die down. However, the whole situation is still pretty volatile, and things could go either way for Hertz at this point. What are your thoughts on the rise and fall of the Hertz Corporation? Do you think car rental services would stand to become more prevalent soon? Will Hertz be able to return to its former glory? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'll be replying to all of you who comment within the first hour of me posting this video. If you like this video, you should check out my other video called How US Stimulus Package Will Worsen the Recession. The coronavirus pandemic has undoubtedly put many nations across the globe in a very tough spot. Countless citizens and businesses are struggling to stay afloat, and many need financial assistance. The current conditions have led the global economy to fall into a recession, and there are talks of a K-shaped recovery happening for the economy. Well, at the very least, that's the way things are shaping up to be for the United States. This is when specific industries see things get better, while other industries see things worsen, leading to a very lopsided economic recovery. If you want to learn more about this, you should check out my other video called The K-Shaped Economic Recovery Explained to know what analysts say we're in for. Now, given that there are many people in need of financial assistance, and a stimulus package may be just the thing needed to aid the current economic condition. However, there are talks that the US stimulus package will worsen the economic recession. Why is that? What is the economic stimulus supposed to do? And what does the United States stimulus package contain? Well, those are precisely what we're going to be talking about in the video, How US Stimulus Package Will Worsen the Recession. Stay tuned and stay educated.